What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out Jazbee's 25 box Hip Parade plus Fanatics under wraps break mixer, which is two cases of Hip Parade Limited autographed series three and five boxes of the uh, Fanatics under wraps autographed baseballs. Now, remember, this is a 30 spot break, all teams into the MLB. Everybody gets a random team. And then, of course, we have two cases series three. Then we have five boxes of under wraps autographed baseballs. And again, these uh, hits will go out to the teams they play for the longest if they're retired, if they're currently active, teams they are active with. And we had to do two fillers. So William down to Jeremy Poor got that straight up. And then Ethan from Tier 1, uh, filler number 1. Down to Tier 1, filler number 2, James got those in there for a fraction of the price. And there's the teams. Here we go. Roll. 3 and a 2 five times. Good luck. 1, 2, 3, Four, five. Five times. Three, two, five. Mark at the top down to Dennis. Now let's go five times here. One, two, three, four, five. Houston Astros down to the Milwaukee Brewers. All right, so Mark, you have the Astros. Mike, oh, Michael, sorry, with the Angels. Nestor with the Orioles. David with the Rockies. Sean with the White Sox. Michael with the Mariners. Jeremy Poor with the Dodgers. Cody with the Royals. Michael with the Tigers. Kevin with the Red Sox. Ethan with the Nationals. Uh, Michael with the A's. Timothy with the Twins. James with the Rangers. Ethan with the Padres and Cubs. Richard with the Blue Jays. Michael Mendoza with the Mets. Taylor with the Reds. James with the Rays. Michael with the Pirates. David with the Guardians. Adam Coverman with the Yankees. James with the Phillies. Ethan with the Cardinals. Nestor with the Giants. William with the Marlins. Jason with the D-backs, Chris with the Braves, and then Dennis with the Brewers. So, I will give you guys a little trade window here, of course, if you guys want. So, if anybody wants to make any trades. What's up, Jimmy? Jimmy is already wanting to trade. Uh, ranges for a trade, if anybody's interested in that. Also, too, guys, Timothy's getting a couple spots in the first bigger team to select and the second one. Uh, that one is now down to uh, five left and eight left. So, I mean, honestly, we could probably do both tonight. Select first off the line. I mean, most expensive team is uh, the Cowboys at 60. Cheapest team is the Raiders at 20 in number one. So, I mean, we get that $20 team off the bar, boom, then work on the Cardinals who are 40 bucks, boom. Line 60, which again have Aiden Hutchinson, XRC chances, you never know. And then of course Titans at 60 as well, and then the Cowboys at 70. Which I think we can do both guys, honestly. All right, Jimmy, I guess nobody wants to trade, man. Let's close it then.
I have not been. It's on the schedule though. If you click the schedule link, um, we're gonna do that next after this here. So hip right now, and then luminance filler, luminance, and then some dinner after that. All right, here we go, guys. Good luck. All right, so two cases here of the Hip Parade Limited. Also, two. Let me see if they these are, scan this in. Jay's an old El Paso, now have tortilla pockets. The bottom is sealed. You just place the food in from the top and eat like a burrito. Whoa. So is that for like people that are just, just lazy and don't know how to make their own burrito? Sounds like a genius thing. I mean, honestly, I, I probably could never get caught with those. It's me being Mexican, I think my, I mean, my grandparents are not here anymore, but I think they'd smack me across the face, honestly. <laughs> and I think my, my mother-in-law would just be so disappointed, so. I think that's for everybody else in the world. All right, Juan Soda to start us off. One of one. That's a black box one of one. How about that to start us off? I say right there for the Washington Nationals, that's going to Ethan. And we got a Christian Koss PSA 10 2020 Bowman Chrome first. I think my father-in-law would think it was really funny and cool. Honestly, he'd probably be one of those guys to honestly like to use those. <laughs> but yeah, I think my aunts, especially on my dad's side, who are all like cooks and like learned all of my grandma's recipes, they probably be shaking their head that would be funny though and we got a uh, Bowman's first George Kirby to 150 for the Seattle Mariners a first round pick 20th overall in 2019 Mariners, that's going to Michael. This is so funny. She's like, yeah, I'm staying indoors this weekend. She's like, I don't care if I have to pay. Oh, I know, <laughs> right? And shit. Dude, and that's how she delivers here at the beach. I know. Like, imagine if she was somewhere else. Well, they're not even showing a doll anymore. They're just showing this. <laughs> But, like, they're kind of turning it back and forth. But, I mean, obviously, this is not a bad match either because she's, like, number one in the world. But I just think it was so funny. He actually won that point. So, he won that game. So, that's, like, the first game he's won, like, in so long. Whoa, Jeff McNeil. Nice four out of five for the Mets. Nice patch. Michael Mendoza with that one. Solid hit. 2025 star. Yeah, it's exactly the same thing, Rex. Exactly. Like Italian families, like especially old school ones, especially the moms that cook and stuff like that, they they probably hate a lot of the way we as Americans eat Italian food. 
Um, I don't know. I, I mean, honestly, I don't think I've ever got Taco Bell with my aunts or anything like that. But I'm sure they probably would be like, Ugh, why are you eating that? But my grandma, on my, my mom's side, her, mo her mother, towards the end, she actually liked Taco Bell in the sense that, nice Joey Bart to 50. She loved the Chihuahua from Taco Bell. And I, she was already, like, in her 80s and 90s. So I think she just ate it because it was quick. But she was, like, a cook her whole life, too. And, you know, she just made home-cooked meals. No, because Rex said in the chat, it's funny. He said that El, El Paso has tortilla pockets now, so the bottom is sealed, so you place the food from the top and eat it like a burrito. So I'm saying it's like, isn't that kind of like a lazy thing? Because you don't want to fold and make your own burrito. Yeah. I said, I think like my aunts would be upset, like people using those, you know, because you can't even make your own burrito. I said, I think your dad would think it'd be cool. We just have to keep in mind that Texas Mexican food is Yeah, not, it's a little different. It's yeah. not... I mean, I think tacos are tacos are like the number one thing. But yeah, I mean, burritos are very popular too. I mean, honestly, burritos I think were so awesome that when they when whoever invented that, <laughs> you keep everything in a in, in like a tortilla. We have a John in India. I just thought it was so funny. My like my one of my middle school teachers, who was also Latino, he just hated like when someone said, "What am I gonna eat today?" Is it going to be a taco? Is it going to be a burrito? Is it going to be this? And he's like, dude, you're eating the same thing. It's just made differently in the sense that are you using a flour tortilla? Are you using a corn tortilla? Are you going to use, you know, uh, you know, just a different different uh, carb? <laughs> it's like it's the same thing, man. He goes, there's nothing different about it. And a Windy City out of 99, Johan Moncada. That is uh, for the Chicago White Sox. Going to shop. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I think it came out in Taco Chronicles. The, the way ground beef and shredded ch cheddars like that, that's more of an American taco. And I think we talked about this last week, right? Yeah. If you guys haven't seen Taco Chronicles, they have a good episode on like the American taco, which is like you know traditional Taco Bell, hard shell, lettuce, tomato, shredded cheese on top. They have like a Tex-Mex one. But a main like traditional taco would be, you know, you got your corn tortilla, you got your al pastor, your meat with onions, cilantro. Salt's on top, guacamole. Garrett Whitlock. And that's number to 99. Red Sox. Going to Kev. Cheese is amazing, Gilo. I'm with you there. <laughs> I love cheese. My wife is even a bigger fan of cheese, honestly. And a little CC Sabathia. Eight of nine. Yankees. Adam Kupperman. Carlos Colmenares for the Rays. Inception autograph, number to 75. Raises James D. Alright, so there's the first case, guys. And If that was it, then that would have been it. But guess what? We have another case and still five autograph fanatics baseballs. I think the biggest hit probably had to be the one-on-one -on -one Juan Soto black box, right? Alright, so this is limited autograph, uh, autograph hit parade. Series three. So let's go to the second case now. Oh, 
all this food talk we're actually just making me hungry man me and my wife I had agreed to get some cheesecake factors today so I'm gonna get myself a nice little Caesar salad with chicken on top get some of that molasses bread What, what is that marshmallow festival you're talking about? Is that like a little local Indiana thing? Pizza rolls in the air fryer. I think you've said that before, Gilo. I haven't tried that yet, honestly. Last time I used my air fryer, I made some french fries. Like a few months back. We have Blaze Jordan. Nice one at 150 for the Boston Red Sox. Kev with that one. I know that's that's a that's a that's an argument starter right there, Mike. It's funny because like you know obviously when my dad was here, he liked specifically. I mean he liked all of my my aunt's foods, you know, because like they basically got all of my grandma's like recipes and stuff from my dad's side, but. He specifically liked only some people the way they made it instead, but it was like the same food over and over again. I don't understand. Honestly, though, my wife's a really good cook. She, she makes some really, really good food. Her grandmother was a big cook, too. You know, not that she's like, not that she does it all the time, but whenever we make food together, it's pretty fun. And at a 99, Dylan Carlson. learn my mom's uh, Thanksgiving turkey recipe. It's great. With the uh, the uh, mashed potatoes and the stuffing. Oh, the stuffing. Can't believe Thanksgiving's only like a few months away. And a Corbin Burns to 20. Flawless triple patch and autograph. That's going to Milwaukee. Dennis Jenkins, there you go. Oh, nice, Rex, that's cool. Yeah, there's a, actually a little festival going on here down the street, down Hermosa. We set up on it, I think, last year or the previous year. Um, it's called Fiesta Hermosa. So basically, they kind of turn into like a smaller like county fair kind of deal. They have like, like three stages for people performing, like local bands and smaller bands. And artists and then they have like beer gardens and they have like you know carnival rides and they have food trucks and they have food stands and you know they have uh, like you know fair games county fair games and stuff like that so um, it's pretty popping here down the street today I think it's today tomorrow and Monday it's actually a pretty cool festival because you're like right on the beach And out of 99, Yvonne Rodriguez, little pudge. And that is number uh, 299 for Detroit. When am I going off? Pete Alonzo to 25. A little patch auto. A little Series 1, Series 2. Mets. That's going to Michael Mendoza. Sorry, Nico. I was going to say Nico. Nick Gonzalez to 250 class of 2020. Pittsburgh. One of Michael Mendoza. Nice. Yeah, Oktoberfest is fun. I've been to one of those at the uh, LA County Fairgrounds. 
I mean, those shits are like everywhere, though. Get a beer and a boot. <clears throat> Whoa! How about a Joe Maurer Francisco Lariano? That's a dual autograph. Uh, both for the Minnesota Twins. Nice, from 2006. Minnesota, Timothy Carr. Walker Bueller, that is number to 50 for the Dodgers. Jeremy Port, last ball mojo. Oh, really? There's only three? The biggest one blew up. <laughs> I'm putting the microwave. Yeah. Ooh, saved it. And we got a Francisco Lindor to 20 silver signatures. Oh, you're talking about like the real thing, Jerry. Okay, okay. So like, do you still go back there? <laughs> Obviously it's a great marketing thing though. Everywhere people just want to advertise that so they can just make some money off beer. How about a little Bobby Wood Jr. to end it off? Kansas City Royals, Cody Kennedy. Alrighty, guys, and there you go. So this case here had some nice names here as well. Um, but we're not done just yet. Not done just yet. We got five autographed baseballs. And here we go. Make sure that the, the Fanatic's under wraps, right? Yeah. But who am I right here, guys? Let's go. Let's see what we got. Woo! That's a nice one. That's a nice one. I'm a former pitcher in the MLB. Alright. I am currently age 52. From Panama City, Panama. Played for one team my whole career. I'm a 13 time All Star, five time World Series champ. I was the World Series MVP for one of those World Series wins. I was the NLCS MVP in 2003. I have uh, three saves, uh, champs, saves leader three times in the MLB, 99, 2001, 2004. My jersey's retired. I was a first ballot Hall of Famer in 2019, and I was voted 100% in. Nobody was like, ah, I don't know about this guy. Yes, Rivera. Adam Copperman got it first. And Wolfpack, you are right. Ryan Stewart, you are right. Look at that. Look at that beauty right there. Very nice. Sweet. Congrats, Copperman.
Alright. Let's go with the next one. Can't look at the autograph before me. I think I already see the autograph though. I mean, I recognize the autograph, I should say. Just confirm. Yes. Yes, I was correct. All right, I'm currently active in the MLB from the, well, actually, sorry, hold on one second. I'm actually born in Canada, but of Dominican heritage. Uh, I'm a designated hitter, first baseman, and third baseman, currently 23 years old. Two-time All-Star, Hank Aaron Award winner, Silver Slugger Award winner. Led the MLB in home runs in 2021. Have a father that also played baseball in the Hall of Fame. Yep. That's kind of easy to say. <laughs> and it's a little Vladdy. Vladdy Jr. So that is going to be Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, which is Richard. There you go, Rich. Yeah. Unfortunately, Rex. But you did get a Vladdy Auto, though. Alright, next one, guys. I had like a crazy one, man. Give me like a gamer or something. Right. <sighs> All right, I'm currently uh, active in the MLB. I wear number 34 for this club that I'm currently on. I've played for one, two, three, four different clubs my whole career. Um, very small career highlights, but I led the MLB in home runs in 2020. I'm from Wildwood, Missouri, 31 years old. My batting average career-wise is 257. I have 91 home runs and 260 RBIs. But like I said, I led the MLB in home runs in 2020. Who am I? And the team I played for in 2020 was for the Yankees. Not currently on the Yankees anymore. Not nah, Pete Alonzo. I actually hit this baseball uh, in the case break that we did last week. Not Gary Sanchez. Not Rizzo. I was a Yankee, but that was in 2020 when I let the MLB home runs. That's okay. This one's a little bit harder. Sportport got it, and Adam did too. It's Luke Voigt. And he inscribed his Slam Diego. So that was obviously when he probably played for the Padres. But now we're currently active. He's now a national. So. Or actually, sorry. He was a still a Padre this year. But he got traded, I think. <laughs> so. That will go to the Washington Nationals, of course, now. Uh, which is Ethan. 
And actually, if there actually was any debate, the Padres owner was like, that's not fair. It says Slam Diego. Well, Ethan has the Nationals, and Ethan also has the Padres. <laughs> so it'll, it'll end that debate there. <laughs> I know, right? Twenty. Well, I mean, it's that's that's basically all he has on his career highlights and awards. <laughs> so I mean, I had to mention it. Don't tell Joe though. Dodgers World Series don't count. All right, two more. And then you can say also Lakers 2020 don't count either. <laughs> Stir him up even more. It's gonna riled up. He might get banned, but don't even say that actually. Alright, <clears throat> currently active in the MLB. I am uh, currently 28 years old. I signed a massive contract extension this past offseason. Um, I have a career batting average of 290. I have 133 home runs, 433 RBIs, three-time All-Star, World Series champ, World Series MVP. It's funny that we hit this guy now. NL Rookie of the Year in 2016, NLCS MVP, and a two-time Silver Slugger Award winner in 16 and 17. So, if we can make this even any better, this was this is actually a former Dodger. Former Dodger. Not a Dodger no more. But we appreciate what he did. Not Bellinger. Not Yachty. I think Yachty's career highlights and awards would be bigger than that, Tyler. Come on, man. <laughs> He's only a three-time All-Star? <laughs> yes, Ryan got it. It's Corey Seager. And, of course, that's going to go to the Texas Rangers. And I think James wanted to trade the Rangers. Got yourself autographed baseball. All right, last autograph baseball, guys. Good luck. Here we go. second. Well, this one might be a little controversy, but let me see. I'm a former MLB player. Um, I'm currently 82 years old. I played for three different organizations, clubs, throughout my entire career. And I have a 2.97 career batting average. I have 23 hits. 
252 home runs, 1,100 RBIs. Pretty good stats. I'm also a manager. I manage one, two, three, four different baseball, or five different baseball clubs my entire career. And known more for my manager status, but I am a former current play, uh, former player. Nine-time All-Star, four-time World Series champ, NL MVP in 1971, NL batting champ in 1971, and all RBI leader in 1971. And for my manager status, I won manager of the year twice in 96 and 98. My number six is retired. I'm part of the Braves Hall of Fame, Cardinals Hall of Fame, and I was inducted into the Hall of Fame 100% vote expansion era in 2014. Not Dusty, not La Russa. Who am I? Yes, you are right, Coverman. The only thing is, I feel kind of bad for this, but I, I, this is kind of one of those tricky ones. Because we know him more for his manager status, and, but he also played baseball. And as it says in the description, you know, it goes to the teams they played for the longest if retired or are current and if active. This is actually one of the coolest baseballs. I think it's the second one I've hit. So, it's actually that first baseball that we hit last week or two weeks ago. This was number two of six. And he inscribed all the wins and the dates of all the, the wins against the Yankees in 1999. So, this is why I kind of was like, oh, You know, because, I mean, if it was up to me, obviously, I would tweak it and say go to the Yankees but because he was a, a, a former player and it goes you know by that I have to give it to the team that he played for the longest but yeah this is a really cool baseball I mean but yeah sorry about that Adam I mean I, I just gotta stick to by what it is I mean, maybe in the future we can do something about one of these ones like this. Because, you know, I wish it just said Yankees logo on it or something like that. And we'd be like, oh, it's Yankees. But, unfortunately, it's just a World Series ball. But he inscribed it and everything about the whole Yankees win. And it's two of six. So. And I forget. I, th I forget which team he played for the longest, too. But, yeah, that's Joe Torre. And... I want to say I think it was the Atlanta Braves. Yeah. Played Atlanta Braves nine years. And then St. Louis six years. With the Mets three years. So there you go. Atlanta Braves. It's going to Chris Walker. So yeah. Yeah. That's the one I was kind of like, oh, I, I wish I could kind of tweak it, but I kind of have to stick to what we said. But this is probably one of the only rare balls that actually are like that. But, um... Oh, did they lose? The Braves lose to them? Wow, what karma. So, Chris Walker, congratulations, man. I mean, you have the Atlanta Braves. This will be your baseball. But, yeah, this one kind of hurt me a little bit, too. But, you know, like I said, sorry, Adam. <laughs> I know it goes back to you, but not to like, not back to the Braves or not back to the Yankees. I'm sorry, man. Don't worry. Well, I'll make it up to you, man. We'll get another big hit somewhere else. But there you go, guys. That was the mixer. That was the 25 box hit parade. Fanatics under wraps. Uh, random teams number one. Um, appreciate it, guys.